Well, it's that time. It's Easter. Well, it's though it's coming to an end, but I know I'm sorry for taking so long, but I'm going to go ahead and get this review out of the way because you're about to experience the Peanuts Gang's Easter special. So here it is to celebrate its 50th anniversary this year. This is my review of It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. Bad days, entertainment rankings and reviews. Greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and Happy Easter! Welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duol, better known to you as the Big D, and this time around I bring to you a review of the 1974 television special, anime television special that is, It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown, produced by Lee Mendelson Film Productions and Bill Melendez Productions, originally premiering on CBS. On April 9th, 1974, so I'm just a little early uh, for its anniversary. And directed by Phil, Phil Roman. This, of course, is another one of the main copy, well, specials based on Charles M. Schultz's Peanuts comic strip. Yep. Anyway. Let's get into the story. While most of the Peanuts gang are getting busy, well, they're getting ready to be busy for Easter, Linus Fuelly tries to convince them that it's a waste of time and that the Easter Beagle will take care of everything. Only Charlie Brown's sister Sally believes him, though she remains skeptical after the misadventure they had with the Great Pumpkin on Halloween. Elsewhere, Peppermint, Patty, and Marcy attempt to call her eggs, but as it's Marcy's first time, she doesn't know how. Their first attempt fails as Marcy fries all the eggs on a griddle, making fried eggs. Second fails when she tries cooking more eggs on a waffle iron, then in a toaster, which of course is unsuccessful because it can't fit in the, the slots, and roasting them in the oven. Well, on a third and final attempt, Peppermint Penny spends the last of her allowance on a third car, and after she spends the last of her money with, she explains to Marcy that the eggs are supposed to be boiled. Marcy boils them as told, but you guessed it, she incorrectly does it. Instead of keeping the shell on, she cracks the eggs out of the shells into a pot of water, and scream, and Peppermint Penny just screamed that she made egg soup, egg drop soup, that is. So, she couldn't buy any more eggs. Woodstock wakes up shivering in his nest after a cold spring rain, and he goes for help from Snoopy, who buys him a birdhouse. But at first, Woodstock hates it, but soon makes into a swinging bachelor pad, complete with television, contemporary artwork, a sunken bed, modern furniture, and a quadraphonic stereo system. Snoopy's curious. He gets his nose stuck in the injury hole and causes the birdhouse to share, so he buys Woodstock and their one. Much to Schroeder's chagrin, Lucy believes that Easter is the gift gang season, so she decides to have her own private Easter egg hunt, painting and then hiding the eggs to find them on Easter morning, using a paper pen and pencil to write down their locations. But unknown to her, well, I'll tell you more as I go ahead and go for the ending. Well, the rest of this and the ending. Of course, you know the procedure. You have five seconds to stop this video. Go to the description box below and fast forward to the time below. If you've seen this special already, which I think a lot of you have had, please continue. Okay, you've been warned. Well, Snoopy falls close behind and snatches up one egg at a time. Once Easter morning arrives, and so is the Easter Beagle, tossing eggs to everyone, including Woodstock, in his new birdhouse, and to... Lucy, whose hand Snoopy furtively shakes. Even Peppermint Penny and Marcy, but by the time he gets to old Charlie Brown, Snoopy's run out. When everyone minus Charlie Brown has received an Easter egg from the Easter Beagle, Marcy then asks Peppermint Penny what they should do with the eggs now that they have them. Well, Penny suggests putting salt on them and eating them, which Marcy then does without removing the shell, commenting that it tastes terrible. 
Well, after the Easter Beagle's visit, Sally becomes a believer. And as for Lucy, she quickly realizes that the Easter Beagle gave her one of her own eggs. Thus, is still fuming two months later. Lia suggests that she go and talk about it with Snoopy, so she visits Snoopy's doghouse to pick a fight. But however, Snoopy takes the fight out of her with a disarming kiss on the cheek, at which Lucy swoons in excitement for next Easter. Who knew? End of story for realsies. So what did I think of It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown? I absolutely love this special. This has become another one of my favorite specials. I'm not sure how I would rank it up there, but this would be in the top, maybe top five or top ten. I know um, um, a Charlie Brown Christmas and a Charlie Brown Thanksgiving would easily be in there. Mm -hmm. And maybe Great Pumpkin as well. So anyway, well, this after this, it would be, it would receive from an actual Emmy nomination the following year in 1975, along with Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, which also, which actually they do the same year, but they both lost to. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus, which was also produced by Bill Melendez Productions. I don't seem to remember seeing that one, though. But anyway, it's really cool. They have been Scoraldi, once again, to do the, the to compose the score. Now, except for some songs, John Scott Trier conducted and arranged a few tracks. Anyway, this is really good and what have you. I really do like... Again, what have you. But there's never been no official soundtrack. But anyway. This is really something. This would also be the last time we would hear Todd Barbie voice Charlie Brown. Duncan Watson would replace him after this. For the rest of the cast, we have Melanie Cohn voicing Lucy, Stephen Shea voicing Elias, Greg Felton appears as the voice of Schroeder, Linda Ercole voices Peppermint Pay, Lynn Morrison voices Sally, and Jimmy Irons voices Marcy, while Bill Melendez once again does the vocal effects for Snoopy and Woodstock. Anyway, CBS aired this all the way up until 2000, until ABC got... 2001. But unfortunately, they only ran for five years. Uh, then 2007, without any explanation, they did not air the program, but would, however, return the following year. Right? And then it managed to re but, however, they refrained airing in 2001 and 2012. It aired on Easter Sunday in 2013, along with 1966's Charlie Brown's All Stars, but and and then again 2014. But after that, it has never been seen again, not even on ABC or even PBS, which they had aired Christmas, Thanksgiving, The Great Pumpkin, even though Apple TV Plus had recently gotten the rights to the series, well, to the Peanut Specials. Now then, the series, well, this special has been released on physical media, of course. And it, I actually do have the deluxe edition from Warner Home Video, which includes the special It's Arbor Day, Charlie Brown, which that's a classic. I'll save that for a future review and what have you. But anyway, my thoughts on this, I think the animation is just as good as the other Peanuts specials. The voice cast is really good. Um, the score from Vince Guaraldi is really good. I just think this is so funny. I especially like the part where, um, Snoopy looks into that special, um, sugar egg or something like that and sees the bunnies and what have you, and he pictures himself jumping in um, to the scene and dances in the circle with them. That was just so cute. Boy, it was just so much fun and what have you. Yeah. So anyway, it's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. I think it's really good. If you have Apple TV+, Plus, I would recommend you watch this, definitely. If you're into the Peanuts holiday specials, you'll feel right at home with this. 
and or if you want it on physical media, then you can get it. It's still have, it's still available for a pretty decent price. So anyway, that's gonna do it. What did you think of It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, and be a part of the Big D Nation. And join me next time for my April 2024 schedule. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, check out my reviews for these other two holiday specials. Both done by rank and base, though. Uh, the big kings of, well, great animated holiday specials. In the upper left-hand corner is my review of Here Comes Peter Cottontail. The upper right-hand corner is my review of The Easter Bunny is Coming to Town. Or, if you'd like another peanut special, you can check out my review of Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown, which I did earlier this year. And the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe if you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc. Then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching and continue to help support my channel grow in the views and what have you. So until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.